thank goodness. We were so worried. You can't stop us that easily. What took you all so long? Hey, I think I know how we can find the Emperor. When you're ready to take the fight to him, come talk to me. Okay. Can I go back and get Kit? I just feel a little <laughs> bad that we left her behind. See, is there anything I'm supposed to do before we... Uh, uh, I mean, there's stuff you can do. I mean, I think there's a, some new arena challenges, challenges or whatever. You can go to Mr. Khan to do uh, yeah, find I a should weapon buy. Yeah, transact some business. Is she in here or out front? She's out, yeah, she's in her normal spot. Her normal spot outside. There we go. Can take much more. Hello, Mrs. Z. All sales are final, honey. Well, I don't have enough for that. Uh, so, what what do you think about those two weapons? How did they end up in your experience? Uh, which one? The oh, two the... I don't have: the freeze gun and the lightning gun. Uh, I like I said, I think the freeze gun ended up being pretty powerful. Uh, at the end of the day, it's just it doesn't have a lot of ammo. It's got like four shots on it, so mm -hmm. you got to use it pretty sparingly. Um, but it freezes them in place. But it freezes them in place, the and they take extra sugar. damage. And it, it's just it's just like yeah, you hit it once, they get mm -hmm. frozen, and then like you just beat up on them. How are we doing on on time? Because I could do some. Uh, uh, yeah, let's, we can do, let's just do an arena challenge. Get uh, some uh, money, yeah. buy another weapon. And then maybe the last episode will be the, the boss. So I'm guessing once you go in to fight the boss, that's it. You're locked in. Yeah. All right. I think the if you do the gold one, I think those ones have a little bit more bolts on the gold, the gold. challenges. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of bolts. All right. Survive the resurrected mangler. All right. Hor Horvitz is doing a great job with uh, Zircon Jr., I gotta say. Oh, skeleton things. Had I fought skeleton sand sharks before? Uh, I don't know when the first time you see the skeleton sand sharks is. This may be the first time. So all this thing needs is... Uh, all this thing needs is some reticle rain, and this will be like a boss I designed. <laughs> they've got the they got the ring attack. That's halfway there. I get to, it's to the point where uh, uh, people will see bosses in games they know I worked on, and they'll be like, "Mike, this one had a ring attack. Is that you?" <laughs> yeah, it was totally me. It's just such a perfect. It's such a perfect attack for a platformer. Yeah. Like, hey, we want you to jump. How are we going to tell you that? Well, let's put a big ring on the floor. <laughs> go, Zerky, go. Breaking it in. Oh shit! Did uh, do we have any uh, audience questions we could go to while we're doing this? Uh, or are we all out? Did we answer sure. everybody's? Oh my god, it's got a reticle right? Oh no, that's the other enemies, okay. Oh, 
It's, I'm going to count that as a reticle rain. Okay. Sure, it's coming from the enemies, but you know what? It counts. Okay, so here's a question. I think it's pretty much directed towards you, so maybe you can answer this one. All right. And I think this is more a reference to... Is it Mike? Why is Tony so, so incredibly handsome? No, not, not unfortunately. Oh, no. okay. Um, so this is in reference to, I think you've been talking... You talk about when you design, about how your, your method of design is about asking players questions. Yeah. That's what I believe that this question is in reference to. Uh-huh. Um, so the question is... How do you know if the questions you're asking the player are fun when it's early into the project? That's a good, that's actually a really good question. Uh, let's see. The, you, you can't know for a hundred percent sure until you try something like that's, that's always a given, but like, um, what I've found is it almost doesn't matter. Like you can, uh, Whoa. Oh, it's just the bombardier. Okay. What am I supposed to do? You just have to... You get every five kills, they just give you a new weapon. And you just have to... Oh, okay. Stuff. Uh, yeah, so... So I try to think of it in... Especially at the beginning, in, in terms of really small... Uh, how many times? Oh, five kills? Okay. I try to think of it in terms of really small things to do. So, uh, like, let's say I was doing a, a game with a car. Ah, it really sucks not to be able to pause with the... Uh, uh, the, the quick select? The quick select. You can turn yeah. it on. I think I might have just turned it off. Oh, you yeah? Can turn it, you can go into the settings. Uh, the, the proper settings, not this. Uh, game, probably. I think it's just be, it's it's off because. Uh, no, I think I think it, I think it, it is a it is a setting. It wasn't under gameplay. Controls, maybe. Or maybe under under HUD. Where's HUD? Heads up display. Oh, okay. Or maybe it's an accessibility option. Well, because we're in, um, like, it won't even let me bring it up because we're in an arena. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That would, okay. That's. No, no. You could, the, the quick select? You can totally bring up the quick select. I'm pressing really? the triangle. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I brought it up once at the beginning of the fight, so I was kind of surprised that I wasn't yeah. able to. But yeah, back to the back to the question. Yes. Uh, so, like, let's say I was making a game with a car, right? I would drive the car around and and play around with it and see sort of what it was fun to do with that car. So, for example, you know, uh, it's fun to have it go off ramps or it's fun to have it go around corners, right? Like little simple things. And then I start thinking about, well, what questions could I ask that would prompt the player to do these simple fun things, right? And can I, can I come up with variations on the questions? Can I uh, overlap them with other questions that other uh, enemies are asking or other parts of the level? So it's like, it, I, it has to start with me finding something that's, that's kind of interesting to do and then thinking of ways to ask questions to prompt those interesting things rather than coming up with the questions by themselves and then you know, uh, uh, moving on to the actual uh, uh, things that you do after that. Um, unless I already know, you know, like if, uh, like if it's a, a game I've worked on uh, a lot, you know, it, like action games, you kinda know if you work on a lot of action games, what sort of things it's gonna be fun to do but you're always trying to do something a little bit different. Uh, 
even even when it's you know like uh like ratchet we would have a different gimmick uh, i think you can, i think you should have enough to go buy the the, the weapons oh okay cool yeah. i'm gonna do that um so yeah it's uh it it if in the case that i don't already know what kinds of things or what kinds of questions i can ask that'll be fun for the player i try to find little fun things that the player can do and then design you know uh questions you know enemies or level design elements around that there we go get the headhunter anything about the other two? Oh, i have enough for all of them yeah oh, nice Look at that. Just two arena challenges. 100%, baby. And no, none of that. Okay. Well, that seems like a good ending place. Uh, so we can, you know, in the next episode, fight yeah, the boss get the and get to the end. Well, thank you all for joining us again. Uh, it's been another episode of Definitely Not Developer Commentary. I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we'll catch you next time.